Can you believe there have been tons of first overall pick NBA disappointments over the years? There's been a lot of hype and talk about Victor Wembanyama as of late. Many state it is almost impossible to live up to the hype the media brings for some of these players coming into the league. We often see this occur more with basketball than with other sports. Which may have to do with the individual aspect of one player being able to control a game. With all this talk of Wemby, it has made us think about who are some of the biggest disappointing first overall picks in NBA history. Now, a disappointment does not necessarily mean a bust. There have been several high picks who have gone on to long, successful NBA careers. However, there have been several times where players just don't live up to the hype, or a few picks after them become superstars. Hence, why is there so much talk about Wemby right now? When looking into this to highlight some of these disappointments, we will start after the ABA and NBA merger, as prior to the merger, things were messy with the drafts and player rights. We will consider disappointments as anyone who never made an all-star game, those who struggled after their first few seasons, or those who may have had a short-lived career. The first post-merger draft in 1976 brings us our first NBA first overall disappointment. This pick was John Lucas, a guard out of Maryland, picked by the Rockets. Though Lucas had a pretty strong rookie season as a guard averaging 30 minutes a game, 11 points, and around 6 assists, Lucas would even make the NBA all-rookie first team. Though Lucas would go on to a 14-year career and later a long career into coaching, he just never lived up to the hype of being the first overall pick. But if we were going to be honest, there were no true superstars in the top five picks in 1976, with only two Hall of Famers, Adrian Dantley and Robert Parrish, being drafted in the top ten. Though a long, strong career, Lucas would be considered the first ever first overall pick, disappointment in the post-merger NBA-ABA world. In 1977, we would see the next first overall NBA disappointment with Kent Benson. Benson was a big man out of Indiana who was drafted by the Bucks as the first overall pick. Benson was seen as Mr. Basketball in Indiana and there was much hype around the 6'11 center. Many say the most memorable moment of his career was when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar punched him in the head giving Benson a concussion in his first game. Benson would average around 9 points and 6 rebounds per game during his 11 season career. He never would live up to the hype surrounding him. The top 10 of that draft would produce three All-Stars and two Hall of Famers, thus making Benson a disappointment in the eyes of many. In 1978, we would see our next NBA disappointment with Michael Thompson being drafted first overall by the Trailblazers. Now, Thompson did have a good NBA career. He would average around 14 points per game and a little over 7 rebounds. He would also be on the NBA All-Rookie First Team in 1979. In 1987 and 88, he would win back-to-back NBA championships. Overall, Thompson would have seven really great seasons with the Trailblazers, but could never truly live up to the hype. He would never be an all-star or make another all-NBA team after his rookie season. Many consider him a disappointment due to the picks around him, Phil Ford, Michael Ray Richardson, and Larry Bird being in the top 10. Now, this does not mean Thompson was a bust. Not at all. The guy had several seasons where he averaged over 15 points. He was just a disappointment based on being a first overall pick. If he was picked after 10, there wouldn't be a conversation. 1989 would bring us the next NBA first overall pick disappointment, Purvis Ellison, the 6'9 center who was taken by the Kings. Ellison from the start was disappointing and would only play with the Kings for one season. He would have his best two seasons with the Washington Bullets in 91-92 when he would win Most Improved Player in 92-93, where he averaged 17.4 points per game. However, besides his first three seasons with Washington, he was never able to recapture his play. He would often struggle due to his size and injuries. Paired with players like Sean Elliott and Glenn Rice coming after him, it is obvious that he had disappointment status. 1995 would bring us our biggest disappointment of the 90s with Joe Smith. Smith would be on the NBA All-Rookie First Team during his rookie season and looked extremely promising. Now, Joe Smith did not have a bad career. He would average around 11 points per game and over 6 rebounds. He would also have a stellar first three seasons in the league, averaging 15.3, 18.7, and 17.3 points per game with the Warriors. His challenges would begin when leaving the Warriors. He would struggle to find his footing. But what really made him disappointing is the draft class he was with. Picked after him would be Jerry Stackhouse, Rasheed Wallace, Kevin Garnett, Damon Stoudemire, all who went on to have very successful NBA careers. If Joe Smith was taken out of the top 10, it would be a very different conversation, but he never lived up to the hype of being first overall. 
Wrapping up the 90s for biggest first overall NBA picks, we will look at 1998's draft. Selected first overall by the Clippers would be Michael Oluwakandi. The hype surrounding him came from his size, 7 foot, and his 7'6 wingspan. Many called him having unlimited upside and amazing potential. He would then go to the NBA draft workouts and break records. Due to the NBA lockout, he would play three games in Italy, where he struggled, which became a first red flag for the Clippers. Though a modest career with the Clippers, he would never really live up to his potential. He would only average over 10 points twice in his career, and only average over 8 rebounds three times. The center really never found his place on the struggling Clippers or any team, but what added to the disappointing status is the picks that came after him in the top 10. Players like Mike Bibby, Jason Williams, Raif LaFrance, Larry Hughes, Antoine Jameson, Vince Carter, Dirk Nowitzki, and Paul Pierce all came in the top 10. Picking anyone else in the top 10 would not have brought the same first overall disappointment. Going into the 2000s, we hit the draft where many say the biggest bust in NBA history comes. The 2001 NBA draft had some extreme hype surrounding it, specifically over the 6'11 power forward center out of high school Kwame Brown. This was considered to be one of the biggest first overall pick disappointments in history. Brown never was able to gain his footing in the NBA and was a true journeyman, ending his career averaging 6.6 .6 points per game and 5.5 rebounds per game. But you have to remember the media hype around Brown, many considered him to be the best high school player in decades. He broke many records and won awards as an 18 year old kid. Team President Michael Jordan and Coach Doug Collins of the Wizards believed that Brown could hit that next level. Paired with his confidence, many thought he would be a bona fide star. However, if the Wizards picked any of the other big men in the top 10, they would have been much happier. Players like Tyson Chandler, Pau Gasol, and Eddie Curry were selected after Brown, adding fuel to the disappointment fire for Brown. In 2007, we had the next biggest NBA first overall pick disappointment when the Trailblazers selected Greg Oden. Now, if you ever watched Greg Oden play in college or high school, you would know the hype around him. He truly dominated for Ohio State, and nobody had seen a big man with his ability in a long time. However, Greg Oden was injury prone and would retire after seven seasons due to his knee problems. Many say the Trailblazers missed out on an incredible opportunity to add Kevin Durant, who went second overall, or another big man like Horford or Noah, who had long careers in the NBA. However, even with injury, he still averaged eight points per game and around six rebounds. He was truly one of those players who was more impacted by circumstance. This was truly drafting the best player in the NBA draft, knowing in advance of potential injury risks long term, which falls more on blind optimism. The next NBA first overall pick we will look at is Anthony Bennett, who was picked first overall by Cleveland out of University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Many considered Bennett to be the next savior of the Cavs franchise, calling him the next LeBron. There is extreme hype surrounding Bennett due to his age, build, height, and college dominance. However, he just never lived up to the hype by the media. Channels like Fox Sports and ESPN compared him to the next great wing. Though a true disappointment at first overall, there really wasn't much in this draft. Most, if not all, never lived up to their hype, especially in the top 10. Many consider the 2013 NBA draft to be the worst top 10 picks in history. These are the main first overall NBA draft disappointments since the NBA-ABA merger. Obviously, we can't really look at recent drafts as many players are still playing, so we'll have to look back in a few years. But just to add some honorable mentions to the 2006 NBA draft, some would consider Andrea Bargnani to be a disappointment based on being a first overall pick. Though he had very strong career numbers in the surrounding top 10 besides LaMarcus Aldridge and the injury cut short career of Brandon Roy, the rest were role players. So we don't truly view him as a disappointment due to the poor weight of the draft class and the fact he averaged over 14 points per game. Some would also consider the 2016 NBA draft with Ben Simmons going first overall to be a great disappointment. Though Simmons had some really great years early on, three times All-Star, Rookie of the Year, two times NBA All-Defensive First Team, though a fantastic early career, many say he has been a disappointment based on his lack of passion and his attitude. But we will have to see how he finishes out his career. Did you know about these NBA first overall pick disappointments? Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, follow, and subscribe. Believable Truths.